What's going on YouTube, Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're we'll back onto the Rank Double Ladder with this Psy Spam slash Sun Team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, we're coming up on 5,000 subs. You guys kidding me? Thank you guys so much for the support. I appreciate each and every single one of you guys. But on this team right here, we got the Psy Spam side, which is the right side. We got Hatterene, Ndidi, Alkazam. You kind of already know what's going on with that. Hatterene's got that Psychic Seize, give it that special defense boost. Pretty much normal moveset with uh, the Hatterene with Trick Room, Mystical Fire, Dazzling Gleam, and Expanding Force. You got that Ndidi to set up the Psychic Surge with Expanding Force as well. Follow me, helping hand protect with those safety goggles for like buffets and all that good stuff and then alakazam down here with imprison so we can imprison trick room if we really want to shadow ball and expanding force as well and then on that left side the bottom two well the left bottom two we got venusaur and Torkoal. Torkoal can set the sun. You guys already know about that with the charcoal and make fire moves do more damage. We got Burning Jealousy, Eruption, which is big, big, big stab damage when we're at full health. And Scorching Sands, which is a ground move that has the potential to burn both of the opposing Pokemon. And then we have Protect, which is just like a normal little Torkoal move, but he's mainly there just to set the sun. Then we got Venusaur. The boy Venusaur, probably G Max Venusaur. Probably G Max Venusaur, Venusaur, I'm actually hoping because I actually haven't shown him off on the rank ladder yet. He's got Chlorophyll with that light, wide lens to make uh, Sleep Powder hit more often. Earth Power, Sludge Bomb, and Leaf Storm for two stab moves and one coverage. And then in the final spot, we got Porygon Z, the GOAT with Adaptability and Life Orb, Protect, T Bolt, Hyper Beam, and Dark Pulse. This thing's an absolute beast and it can hit like a truck. This team's pretty straightforward, nothing really too, too new. But it just looks like an awesome team that could be awesome for me to show off on the rank ladder. But if you guys want to use this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. I'm ready to go. I'm ready. I'm just ready to hop onto the rank ladder and try to perform like we did in yesterday's video. We went 3-0 with the Long and Raichu team. If you guys haven't checked that out, go check it out. This is an awesome video. That team has probably been one of my favorite ones I've used so far. But let's hop onto that rank ladder and try to get some wins with the squad. Starting off today's video, going up against a Snorlax, Mimikyu, Rillaboom, Arcanine, Primarina and Titar. I don't really have like one Pokemon to define a team. Like our team we can define as like a sun slash size band team. This thing is just like an all-around team, you know what I'm saying? But here we go. First battle. How should I lead this? He has that roll boom with a surge. I kind of want to just go into like my sun and roll from there. Go Torkoal and uh I mean he has sandstorm, but that's fine. It is fine. I don't know. What should I do here? How should I play this one? I think we're gonna go Torkoal into Venusaur. I think that's a safe play. And I could go side spam, or I could just bring Alkazam and go Porygon Z in the back end. Let me see. The, let me see. Alkazam speed should be fine. Should be fine, right? Alkazam Z is very fast, and Porygon Two is very fast too. So it's like no trick room needed. So I'm just gonna go Porygon and Alkazam to get this uh, battle started. We're not gonna roll out with our side spam or trick room. We're fine with it. We're totally cool with it. But yeah, you can just bring an Alkazam anywhere because he has that Focus Sash. He hits like a truck with Special Attack, and he uh, his speed is very very good. Very, very good, so we can go from there. But Venusaur is probably going to be our uh, big old Pokemon right here. Very nice little Pokemon. He can set the uh, Grass Surge. I'm totally fine with it. None of my Pokemon really get dumped on by the Grass, so we're, 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 we're working with it. We're working with it. But if you guys want to catch more content from me, hit that link in the description below, Jeans25 on Twitch. Hit that uh, link, hit that follow button, and turn on those notifications so you know when your boy goes live. Extra content over there. Over there. But Snorlax and Mimi Mimi Poo get the, get the lead. Okay. I'm totally just gonna drop an eruption. He might actually uh, belly jump or sword dance. And do I Dynamax? That's the real question. Let's Jeans Dynamax here. I think I just take off this guy's, or maybe put Snorlax to sleep. Kind of feeling like putting Snorlax to sleep and just dropping a big old eruption. But I feel like I should do that next turn and actually uh, take off this Mimikyu's disguise. I'm not dealing with him. I'm not dealing with you, Mimi Mimi Poo. Get him out of here. You gonna D Max? He is gonna D Max. He is going to D Max. It's gotta be Mimikyu. Low battery? What you mean? I'll fix that after this battle. I'll fix my low battery after this battle. No time for that. No time for low battery. But he goes Snorlax, okay? I probably should just put that thing to sleep. We'll do an extra turn then. I don't think he's gonna take him out unless he doubles up into me. Unless you double up into me? She actually might. You might actually double up into Venusaur. Let's see what happens here. She's swords dancing. Sludge Bomb coming through. Yoink. If we get this eruption landed with a full health, you're dead. He's dead. Or at least, like, above half, I think. We can take out this Mimikyu. He's a little lightweight. Here goes Mimikyu. Oh, Snorlax outspeeds the Mimikyu. He must be going for a Trick Room. That's totally fine with me. He is actually going to set up a Trick Room. Okay. Okay, that means we might have to Dynamax my Torkoal. We might have to Dynamax my Torkoal. So, Eruption. Yoink. Mimikyu, take it out. Oh, we don't even take that thing out. That's whack. That is whack. He should be gone. He should be out of here. Trick Room shouldn't have been set. What you mean, yo, Torkoal? You should have dumped on him. 
It's gonna be beautiful. Um, Burning Jealousy could come out here. We could potentially uh, get burns on him. Oh no, we automatically get a burn on Strunk because he has his stat boost. Look at that, that is sick. The user attacks with energy from Jealousy. This leaves all posing Pokemon that have had their stat boosted during the turn with a, during the turn, okay. It was during the turn. Chances are we might do that. I don't know, we go first, so I don't know. And then go into a sleep powder if we can actually land this. Let's see what happens. Let's just let's just see what happens here. Here goes Shadow Sneak coming out. He knows he's dead. He knows he's dead, so he's like, alright, I might as well uh get a hit off. Burning jealousy comes all out. Boom, Mimikyu down. Strikes. I don't think Strikes get the burn. I think it has to be that turn. I think it has to be that turn. Yeah, it has to be that turn. So sleep powder is gonna connect here. It's gonna be dandy. We're gonna be able to eat that up as well. Okay, just waste out his trick room. Or not his trick room, his uh, G Max. I'm cool with it. We'll put that thing to sleep. We'll say nighty night landed, Venusaur. That a boy Wildlands coming in clutch. Yes, sir. Night night, big dog. Night night, no lumberry for him. Um, I think I just wait out this trick room. And then potentially Dynamax by Porygon Z. Arcanine comes out. That's totally fine with me. That's totally fine. I go into a Scorching Sands, which would be super effective. And would be pretty nice. There's special attack in all round. And Venusaur? No, Venusaur's going to be faster. So I'm just going to go Scorching Sands here. Do it on you. And then... I guess we'll Earth Power if we can land it, you know? If we can land it. I thought Scorching Sands was a double-hitting move. I think I said that in the beginning. I thought it was a double-hitting move. I always thought that. But I guess it's just a one hitting move. But this team is pretty cool. I'm actually, I actually really like this team. It's not like a team that has a high learning curve. You can actually just like hop onto the rank ladder and play it pretty easily. No, it's nice. It's nice. But Squirt Chain's coming out here. Yeet. No stab, but still. He's gonna be able to do some damage. Can we burn that thing somehow? That'll be amazing. Thronx is slumped. Yes, sir. We, you love to see it. Flare Blitz is probably coming in here. I had to guess. I know he's just gonna snarl. Okay. I'm cool with it. Torkoal survives as well, so Torkoal's gonna get another turn off here. Special attacks dropping, but still. We're just wasting out Trick Room, wasting out Dynamax turns. We're chilling here. Slow and steady wins the race, guys. Boop. Nice little Earth Power comes out. Scorching Sands might be able to take that out. Gonna be close. But yeah, get out of here, Stormlax. You're down there. You can snarl me up all day. That's totally fine. But I would love to get this Arcanine out of here. So he can't snarl my, like, Porygon and all that good stuff. Hmm. I am going to... Actually, Leaf Storm into Snorlax. I'm going to Leaf Storm into Snorlax. I do some big damage before we do actually end up going out. Can Scorching Sands take out? Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I was going to send the uh, Leaf Storm over on that side, but I was like, eh, I don't really want to wa waste a Leaf Storm with one HP. Goes for a crunch. Who who's he going after? Venusaur. Eat it, beans. Yep. Venusaur eats up. That is lovely. We are, are al already minus one on special attack, but still, let's get a lead storm out here. Get as much damage as we can on this Snorlax, even though it's just a little bit. That's totally fine. These Pokemon are going out soon. He has no way of setting up Trick Room. He has no Dynamax anymore, so we're kind of sitting really, really well. We got a speed Pokemon coming in very, very soon with Alkazam and Porygon. And then we have the Focus Ash and our Dynamax, which Porygon's going to be my Dynamax Pokemon, probably because he has that Life Orb and Adaptability. Rillaboom comes out. Going to set that Grass String. Go for a Grassy Glide. That's uh, pretty straightforward. And we're down to his uh, final two. His final two Pokemans. Uh, how many turns left in Trick Room? That's the real question. Is it one? It's one. So I don't mind these Pokemon actually going out now. I guess we'll, we'll go for Burning Jealousy and a Sleep Powder, I guess? I guess we'll try to land a Sleep Powder before uh, Venusaur goes down. But Torkoal is still going to be slowest, but Grassy God is obviously coming out, taking out my Torkoal. Maybe I should have protected him, but it really wouldn't have mattered. It really wouldn't have mattered. Then Snorlax is going to take out my Venusaur. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. Battle 1's looking, uh, we're looking pretty good here, guys. Looking pretty solid, but you never know what Rillaboom. Oh, he's he's going to go for a big hit. Okay. He pops off the little clapskis. He does the little clapskis. Crunch comes out, and Venusaur goes out. Okay, so no more Trick Room. We got, we definitely outspeed both these mods. We're gonna bring out, uh, we're gonna Dynamax Pouring on here. And then, uh, I can just drop, uh, Expanding Forces. With my boy, Alakazam. Or I can Dynamax Alakazam and set the Surge. That is a possibility, but Porygon's just, just a better Dynamax. With adaptability, it can probably one-tap both these guys. So, definitely Porygon. Easy win, easy win, baby. We're gonna end up going 1-0 and early on in this video. Which is beautiful. We got Shiny Porygon just doing his little spazzes and all that. Uh, Dynamax and Max Strike. Willaboom. I'll go after you and then 
Hmm. No, we gotta go expanding force. This stab, it is some stab damage. Banana, hey, 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 jeans, banana, jeans, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> let's get it, let's go. But yes, Friday, we got Paper Mario Origami King. Hope you guys are hyped. I'm gonna be doing a full playthrough on my channel. That game is gonna be so much fun. It's gonna be a nice little solo player game. Hope you guys come hang out with me. Seriously, check it out. It's gonna be tons of fun just watching me commentate and just play the game. I promise you guys, you guys will enjoy it. You guys will enjoy it. Because I, I plan on doing a bunch of different uh, Mario games. Well, not just Mario games. A bunch of different uh, Nintendo games on the channel. Because this is not just a Pokemon channel. It is a Nintendo channel. I've just been playing Pokemon because I've been enjoying it. You guys have been enjoying it. And it's been the most uh, relevant game in on the Switch for a good bit now. Because nothing really has ca came out yet. But see you later, Rollboom. Max Strike takes that thing out. Get out of my face. We're actually ate up that expanded force very, very well. But we get the speed drop, which doesn't even matter. It's already slow in both rounds. But our Porygon shown here. Was this Porygon not Dynamax Candy? I kind of saw that. I don't think he doubled his HP. Which is fine. Let me actually check. Let me give a quick peek. Let me go give a quick peek just so I know for uh, later references. Let's see. Yo, Porygon's getting that. Because was he... Actually, he might be Dynamax Candy. Was he at 120-something? Because then, then it sounds pretty nice. Let's see. Let's see. I had to have been at like one. Burr, burr, burr. Let's see. Let me just let me just take a quick peek. I believe they're Dynamax Candy. Let's give it a try. No, he's not. See, I told you. He's the only one not Dynamax Candy. What you mean? The one that should be have the Dynamax Candies. What you mean? He's still doing work though. He's still doing work. We'll take it. No Dynamax Candies, and we'll still pick up that win. Max Strike coming out here. You better just cancel out that battle, little boy. You better cancel out that battle, little boy. Don't you dare protect or anything. Thank you so much, Panther Force. Yeah, yeah. Double spoon action. Yeah, you baby. <laughs> Bring him down to yell. Max Rex gonna come in here. Adaptability and life orb damage coming up. Bang. GG. 1 and 0 oh with this squad, yo. That's hype. That's hype. Dude, Porygon is the GOAT. He's the GOAT. He's so strong. Like, he can one tap almost anything with adaptability and life orb. It's just absolutely amazing. Why does Kingdra and Politoed Rain teams just look so cool? I don't know why. Every time I take a look at them, I'm like, dude, that team looks awesome. It's just something about those two Pokemon. But he also has Amoongus coming out, Gothitelle, Rillaboom, and Incineroar. So triple fake out users here because I think Gothitelle, Rillaboom, and Incineroar all learn fake out. So Psychic Surge, let's get that in here. Let's get that in here. I actually kind of want to go Hatterene. I actually want to go Hatterene with something else and then come in with the Psychic Surge. I don't want him just lead in Rillaboom. Let me see. Let me actually see the speed on this in DD. Is it like 105 ish? Let's see. 81. Okay. 81's not bad. It's not bad. So I think I might want to go. Hmm. Who do I want to go here? I definitely want to swap into in DD just so fake outs do not happen. So I can go into it with anybody. I definitely want to bring Alkazam. But I might swap out Alkazam turn one. And I think, I think we go Alkazam. Mm, Porygon. Let's go. Let's go. Porygon as a lead. Alkazam, and then uh, Indeedee in the back end. We're all gonna we're gonna go with our Psy spam and Porygon Z with this squad right here. Let's get it. Can we go two and zero? I hope so. I hope so. We ran it in that last uh, in the last video. Three zero in the last video. Right now we're on a four game win streak on recordings, which is dope. Which is dope. I think my highest on recordings was maybe like a seven. I think I went back to back videos going three and zero, and then uh, lost the uh, won the first battle and lost the second battle in the third recording. But this chick has the, she has the crown. She has the crown going on here. But probably gonna set the rain. That's totally fine. I don't think he is gonna set the rain. I don't think he is gonna set the rain, to be honest. It's fine if you set the rain. I'm going for trick room, baby. I'm going for trick room, and I am going to actually get a, uh, a special defense boost. So I don't think you can take out my hat of rain, big dog. So let's go. Go fight. Let's go trick room, easy. And then we just go over here. And we go into Pokemans. And we switch into Indeedee. I think he, he might not swap Rain, thinking that I have Twirkle in the back end, which could be type nice. Could be type nice. Let's just see what he does. Poor God just did his little spaz. It's all in the bottom corner. But I know a lot of you guys have been uh, saying in the comment section, like, yo, can you move your webcam and, and all that? But the thing is, I don't know where I would move my webcam. It's the real question. I thought about it, all that good stuff. And then, like, looking at it, I thought maybe putting it in the bottom left, but then that box HP and all that on some Pokemon. So, if you guys have any idea where I should move my webcam, let me know in the comment section down below. Because I know you guys, uh, it has been bothering you guys a little bit with uh, seeing the Pokemon on the team. So, if you guys have a good spot for it. I don't want you guys to think that I just, like, said push that uh, question aside. And I was like, nah, like, that's not happening. Like, I'm not moving my webcam. I just don't know where I would actually put it. 
But we that's an easy trick room. We get an easy trick room off here. I'm just gonna double into expand. Actually, uh that is Cinnamore. I do not want expanding force Cinnamor. But I'm definitely gonna take Leam up. And then uh probably just expanding force into this side. Yeah, we're gonna double up into this uh, King Get that out the way. But yeah, I was thinking maybe putting in the bottom left, that box on the just everywhere is a problem. Everywhere is a problem. Maybe I should make it smaller and throw it in the top right corner. I don't know, I don't know. We will see, we'll see. I, I'm, I'm thinking and I'm working on it. I'm working on it, but need you guys help. But he swaps out into Polito. That's that's totally fine. He'll swap that rain like that. Okay, I'm surprised he didn't swap that in cinema. A little weird, right? A little weird, right? Clean comes out. Yo, uh, yeet. Banning Force is also gonna come out here for us. Flare Blitz. Oh, th that's just a that's just a bad play. If you're going into Flare Blitz, why set the rain? Just a bad play, dude. What you doing? Phantom Force doesn't affect Incineroar. We know that, but we're going after his Polytoad. Get out of here, Polytoad. Get out of here, Polytoad. You don't want it. Okay. Um, bu -bu -bum. Do I Dynamax here? I'm actually thinking of Dynamax and just G-Max smiting up. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get this big old stab damage rolling out here. And do I Helping Hand? I'm actually just going to follow me here. Just have Indeedee just start soaking up shots here. Yeah, let's Dynamax. While we got that Trick Room rolling, we'll just Dynamax this Hatterene. We will just Dynamax this Hatterene. And we do not change the Surge, which is awesome because it is our G-Max move. And we actually put both these Pokemon little duckies. We give them little, little bit of duckies around their head. They don't want it. They don't want it. Bam, bam, bam. The G-Max looks like she's just like a witch hat. She's got like an upgraded hat. <laughs> it's so funny. It's so funny. But I heard there's going to be a... Nintendo Direct coming up soon. I heard July 20th. Is that correct? Is that correct? That would be amazing if it is. That would just be, that would just be phenomenal. Because they're going to announce some big stuff, I feel like. Because they haven't had a Direct in forever. So let me know in the comment section down below. I know I'm asking a lot of questions. But I really want you guys' feedback. Like, what you guys want them to announce? I want, like, new Pikmin. I want the Mario remakes that they've been talking about. The Galaxy, the, uh, what was it? Galaxy Sunshine and 3D World. N64. All those. That would be phenomenal. So I'm hoping we can actually get uh, news on that and news on Breath of the Wild too. Then I'd be happy. And of course, Sinnoh remake, Gen 4 remake. Everyone wants that. We thought they were gonna do it in the Pokemon Directs, but no, I guess not. He's gonna take out my Surge, you little biscuit. Why you take out my Surge like that? It's all right. I can just go into a uh, a Mindstorm and set the Surge myself. If you wanna play games with me? And I could set the Heat as well. Oh my God! I forgot to do my low battery thing. I said in the first battle we were going to do it. I forgot. <laughs> we're definitely going into a max mindstorm here. Changing that terrain up and then going to expanding force. Overall on you. Indeedy will go less. He's not going to die max. He's just going to go for a fake out. Okay, that's fine. Never mind. He just fakes me out, dude. And he gets a crit. What do you mean? What do you mean you get a crit? Max mindstorm. We're changing up that terrain. You can't have that terrain. You're not allowed to, buddy. You're not allowed to. And I think we have one more turn in trick room. Oh, we, we, we looking good. We looking good here. Because I saw my Alkazam with that Focus Ash. I know he's saving that Kingdra. And this thing is ducking up. He's ducks. He has all these ducks. And he hits himself. Yeah, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's lovely. Let's fight again. And do I change up the weather? I'm just going to change up the weather here. And expanding Force. I don't, want, I don't want him having that rain advantage. I don't want you having that rain advantage all day like that. Look at out my face. I think he's going to protect the Polyto, to be honest. He's just waiting to get this Kingdra in and waiting for his Trick Room to end. This is like the last turn of Trick Room, but now you have no rain. Now you have no rain. Unless you're going to set it yourself. Unless you're going to set it yourself, you have no rain. Expanding Force, I think, should pick up the double KO here. Which would be lovely. Which would be just dandy candy. Expanding Force comes out. Definitely Real Boom's gone. I don't know about Polytoad. I hope Polytoad's gone. Get him out of here. Double kill for Indeedy, yo. Side Spam team coming up big here. Gonna go 2-0. Easy win. Did we lose a Pokemon yet? We haven't even lost a Pokemon yet. We're just sweeping out here with Ndidi Hatterene. Because who did I lead? I let Hatterene, Porygon Z, and just swap to Ndidi. And then we have Porygon Z and Alkazam in the back. This is just light work. This is just light work. Oh my god. Oh my lord. Gene, stop it. Leave these kids alone. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. These kids don't want it. They don't want it. But there we go. Dazzling Beam should be able to finish this one off. Same thing with an Expanded Force. But I think he's just going to cancel. He does not cancel. He's going to go for a Draco Meter. And it doesn't affect me. Like, what are you doing? You deserve to get sweet. You deserve to get sweet trying to do that. Get out of here. Expanded Force into Gleam. Gives us that sweep. 
2-0 and undefeated right now. Can we go 3-0 and in this battle? We will see. Yo, GG to this guy. That guy had a cool team. I just feel like he uh, played a little off. He played a little off by waiting for that uh, rain. This guy's got the double goat team right here. He has Porygon Z and Polosan. Like, leave me alone. Those Pokemon are so cool. I think he's going to uh, trigger weakness policy and water compaction, maybe with an Aqua Jet with uh, Primarina. I think that might be the play he's going to go with. If I had to guess, if I had to guess, we'll probably go into an Uncle Jet. Trigger both of those. He has a Grimstone for screens, a uh, Grassy Glide, Roll Boom, which is uh, a little scary. A little scary, not gonna lie. He has a Cinderace too. Cinderace is always scary, and especially if I go Sun, I don't want to give him that advantage. That'd be huge. Hmm. I could go Sun to actually get started and put whatever Pokemon I want to sleep, because Venusaur should be fastest on the field at that point. Hmm. I kind of want to do that. I kind of want to do that and maybe Dynamax after that. Go here, here, put someone to sleep. And roll out from there. I think that's gonna be the play. I think Gene's just making a executive decision here. I think we go same thing with our first battle. We go Alkazam and Porygon Z in the back end. I don't think we need a Tailwind here or not a Tailwind. I trickered. I really do not think we need. It. I think our, our Pokemon are pretty fast on its own, especially if I can uh, speed control with the Sleep Powders and then Dynamax Venusaur. I think it's G Max, so we can see a nice little uh, what is it? Vine Lash? Is that what it's called? Vine Whip. It's like G Max Vine Whip, and it just comes out of. Bang, bang, it's like bombs dropping with vines and stuff. It's insane. But he's gonna go Primarina and Rillaboom. Okay. Primarina e Rillaboom. Totally fine by me. Totally fine by me. I don't think we put anybody to sleep. I say we Dynamax turn one. He's gonna set the grassy search for us. I'm cool with it. This is like double trouble for him. Like double trouble for him. I'm gonna Dynamax and I am going to Vine Lash. Unless he swaps. Do we think he swaps? I don't know. Do we think he swaps? Let's see. Let's go into. I'm not Dynamaxing you. I'm going into a Burning Jealousy here. Because I know you're going to do damage to me. And I'm going to actually Dynamax. And yeah, G-Max Vine Lash here. Or I could go for a Max Ooze. Both super effective, both stab. And I could get a special attack boost. Hmm. I don't want to make sure it's Robooms out the way. Robooms more of a pain than Primarina. Am I right? Am I right? Yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to go after this Robooms. Get that plus one special attack. He's going to Witch All Primarina. So good call for us. Good call for us, and he's going to go into Cinderace. Nice, nice, nice. I'll take that all day. I'll take that all day. So, great call by us actually going to that Max and slide it over to that really, really boom. He's probably going to fake me out, to be honest. Hopefully, hopefully he's faking out my Venusaur. And we can kind of just, like, waste out these turns right here. G-Max Venusaur coming in here, and then eventually, when we get rid of this uh, Roll Boom, I think we'll, we'll get rid of this Roll Boom just easily. If he doesn't fake out, if he doesn't fake out my Torkoal. Let's see what, it, what he does. He's gonna fake out. He's gonna fake out on my Venusaur. Beautiful. So, yeah, he's gone. Get him out of here. I could have actually erupted there. But Burn Jealousy is totally fine. We're gonna do big damage here. Get that special attack boost. Torkoal's gonna actually gain advantage for that. And then Burn Jealousy is definitely going to take out that roll boom. No problem. And then I could, could go into a Vine Lash. Or I think I'm just gonna drop a Max Quake over onto that uh, Cinderace. Because I will outspeed it right now for one turn. Oh, and that's some nice damage. That is some lovely damage over on that Cinderace, too. But yeah, I think I, I think I got a Quake. Unless he has a Follow Me Pokemon. I don't know if he has that. We're playing this one nice. We're playing this one nice. We got a big old Venusaur with his umbrella. Whatever that thing is. His little plant umbrella. Protect him from that rain. Doesn't play around with water. He's cool with it. And I think we're looking good right here. He's going to go Polisand. I'm fine with that. I'll say it's so cool. What did he come out? Sun and Moon? I remember getting him in Sun and Moon. I absolutely love him. Sandy Gas. Bruh. Um... Should I erupt here? I think eruption is going to be your best bet. But who is slower? I don't know. Scorching Sands. You could sand it. I'm thinking of just Scorching Sand this thing. And then just G-Max Vine Lashing this up. Because even if Venusaur goes down here, I can take out Polis Sand and Cinderace. He's going to Dynamax to Cinderace, right? He might guard. He might actually guard. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. He's definitely going to take out my Venusaur. But I think Venusaur will strike first, which is awesome. Oh, he's going to Dynamax Palisane. So that's going to be huge, this uh, Vine Lash going out on that side. This actually might one-tap. We got Stab, super effective, plus one in the surge. That's big damage. That is some big damage. Vine Lash coming out here. Let's see it. Yo, he oh, my lord. Oh, oh, get him out of here. Get out of here, kid. Stick to the beach. Stick to the beach. Build your sand castles over there. Get it out of my face, yo. Good call by me. We dump on that thing. Get out of here. Get him going. This thing's bouncing. I'm fine with that. That's a so fine play by me. 
We have the speed advantage, yo. G Max V is sort of rolling out here dominating. He, the Cinderay should take a uh, Vine Lash damage too up in there, right? Scorching Sands does nothing. I don't know why they don't bring back Sky Uppercut. I think that was one of the coolest moves ever. I remember when they uh, gave that to Blaziken in Gen 3 and you were able to hit fly Pokemon. So when you were versing the uh, Dragon Gym leader, like Salamence was flying and everything, you would just be like, nah, son, Sky Uppercut, take that thing out. It's like, get out of here. <laughs> you just roll it. But yeah, this one's uh, pretty much over. Scorching Sands over on. Oh no, he's flying type now. He is flying type now. We'll just go into a Burning Jealousy. And that will take him, take him out when he comes down. And then G Max Vine Lash comes out. Thumbs on Primarina. Easy match, yo. Easy, easy match. He's gonna protect. We're still gonna be able to do some big damage to that, I think. I think we are still gonna be able to do some big old damage to Let's see. Break that. Break that protection. Jeez, man. Big old damage. And we'll still have speed advantage next turn. We are chilling here. Flies or bounce gonna come out here. We'll eat that up, no problem. That's still some big damage coming out. And he paralyzes me. That's cat. Get out of my face. That's wax sauce. Awesome. Torkoal? Take out that Cinderace now! <laughs> We're paralyzing me. This should be def definitely a KO here. Yep. Bye bye, Cinderace. You got no problem. You tried Dynamax and Pilots in my face. I said, nah, son. Get out of here. Get out of my face. But we get a little bit of HP back from our little thing. Vine Lash is whipping up, which is beautiful. Everyone loves a nice Vine Lash. He's just type nice. He's going to get a little bit of HP back as well. Hey, 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 and then we're gonna finish this one off with a nice little scorching sand. And uh, wait a minute, I want to read something on scorching sand real quick. Does it hit twice? There's sand at the target. I thought it hit twice. Maybe for ground typeies, or maybe I'm just a being dumb. Probably. You guys are probably gonna be like, "Change, you're being dumb." It only hits one guy. And I'm like, I know. <laughs> Save me from my sweep. Now I don't get my sweep. Actually, I still have a chance of getting a sweep. That is whack sauce. That is whack. I want my sweep. I want back-to-back -back sweeps in 3-0 in this video. I want it. I want it. We definitely got 3-0 on lockdown, but I want back-to-back -back sweeps. We give it the burn. We give it the burn, skis. Let's go. <laughs> we just need Venusaur to survive here. If anyone's going down, it's going to be Venusaur. Oh, the Vine Lash is going to do it. Yes. Let's go! Venusaur, even when paralyzed, doing work. Another sweep for you guys. Easy. Just like that with this team. We are dominating and we went 3-0. Hey! 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 3-0! Hey! 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 3-0! Hey! 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 3-0! Hey, 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 back to back videos going 3-0. That's pretty hype. This team was amazing. We got to show up every single Pokemon on this team and what this team has to offer. We got to show off the Psy Spam, the Alakazam, we got the Dynamax, that Porygon, and we got to show off that Sun. We went two battles with pure sweeps, which was amazing. So that was pretty dope. If you guys want to rent this team for yourself, the code is at the bottom of the screen. I said that, that this team is straightforward to play up. It's so easy. Just rent it and get rolling with it. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.